Went downstairs for the first time. Yeah. And uh, downstairs, as in like in the cold in the cold room. In the cold room, yeah. Okay. And then she went to go. She met back up with the lady in the forest, mm -hmm. and the lady in the forest told her she saw her because there's cameras out there. That's the last thing I remember seeing. But that's when I started to get interested. Do you do you intend to revisit yeah, and finish I'm, I'm the show? I'm gonna keep watching it. I'm gonna keep watching it. Keep watching it. Um, last yesterday is when I saw that. So that's like the first two episodes we watched like in like five days because it was boring as fuck, bro. Bro, that that there's nothing. The about first three the episodes show, were so fucking boring. How was it boring? A bunch. Well, you got the, well immediately. I was um, annoyed that the only nigga that's there, of course, is a, a homosexual. Is a homosexual <laughs> with, with AIDS. There's two black with AIDS. With At least AIDS. there's two black women there. Yeah, it, it, the girl's black too, isn't she? But one of yeah. them is a weirdo. What do you mean she's a the weirdo? The light skinned girl's a weirdo. She, well, she's a weirdo because she's a, the only Christian there? She's no, the only person who wants to weird. take a stand that's the for one God. That's the weirdo? That's the one he's talking about as a weirdo? She's weird, bro. I don't think From she's weird see, at all. I think she's weird, homie. She's the only one that takes a stand for God in well, that I, whole I appreciated show. that. I appreciated that. And, and it gets worse and worse as the show goes. Okay. Um, Those people are anti God in there because they, they're they mad at God. Yeah, they're mad at God. Um, there's a couple of stories <laughs> I really thought were really well put together. There's, the it, stories there's, are really. There's amazing stories. So I like it, though. It was just to be honest. The only reason why we didn't keep watching is because my shorty was like the first three episodes were hella slow. Mm -hmm. So she's like, we want something else. Right, okay, whatever. But I like it though. But I liked it. I like I those cult kind of shit. Anything about yeah. a cult, I want to. Yeah, I want to look at it. It's secret, you know. There's some other thing like the cupboard, something the cupboard, some that they got on there. The cupboard. I, something about a cupboard. It's like scary story type deal. So I'm gonna oh, check that's another that show. Out. Yeah. I'm oh. I'm gonna check that bad boy out, probably. You know, um, what? What you, you just said? Mm -mm. So I just, I just saw a meme I thought thought was interesting on Hoodville. Yeah. And it was um. She likes being held unless it's accountable. She likes being held unless it's accountable. How do you feel about that statement? She likes being held. Do you think that women have accountability issues? I don't, at this point, I feel like everybody's half and half. <laughs> that's I don't safe. Think, I don't even do like women or men. I feel like everybody, everybody's human being, half. like human beings. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. I think I think it's fair. I do. I think women have accountability issues, though. Particularly, have a higher propensity for accountability issues. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Right. <laughs> I, I do. Agree. I literally had a conversation with somebody. I had, I had a little um, uh, argument with a girl that I was talking to. And um, it was kind of like there was an audience for it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we had a conversation in private and I checked her about it. And she literally told me verbatim, I'm not going to be held accountable. <laughs> like, no, you, you're trying to hold me accountable right now. I'm not going to be held accountable. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I can't do it. Nobody L like, like that, statements like that. I think women have a higher propensity. I, there's plenty of men who do have accountability issues for sure. Um, but I, I just think women just do not like being held accountable. You know, is that a red? Is that a when red I say flag. red flag, like, because that now that it's got watered down, red flag is like, like if you look at soccer, right? Don't they got like a what a yellow card, mm -hmm. a red card? Red card mm -hmm. What's the? Those are only two, right? I think it might be another card, but I don't know. Regardless, I'm watching them. Green. When I see like when <laughs> I know a green when, card. A, when a female <laughs> when a female got a red flag. Uh -huh. Isn't that something that immediately immediately turn off? Like that's a no. No, no. Well, th this is a red flag. It's like this: yeah. you're driving down a road. Yeah. You see a red flag. You have two options: you can stop, stop driving, yeah. or you can keep going. And then what? And you have ignore to live with the, the red flag. Yeah. 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 Most of us will ignore red flag after red flag, after red flag. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. Some people see it and and yeah, act like it's not there, and just keep. <laughs> trying to fix the situation. Try to fix it, or I, feel, or I, you know, there's girls go. I can change them. Girls like to say that. I can change. Yeah, I them. see that a lot. Yeah, I think that's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Why? I don't think you can change somebody. You, I think you can change somebody, but not in that way. You have to way, help though. them want. They have way. to want uh -huh. to change. You can't <laughs> yeah, say yeah. you have, you're gonna change them because. Yeah, you can make somebody better, but like not like, not in that. That's not the way to do it. You know, I think he's going to love me so much. I'm going to love him so much, and he's going to love me so much that he's going to stop being like this. That That's not... But that means you don't even love that person. You love the idea yeah, of, what, of that person that you are trying to create. 
And that's unhealthy as fuck. Oh, wow. You think a lot of people do that? You like think a lot of people like ideas of yeah, people? Yeah, I've done that before. You see what I'm saying? And that's a mistake. The idea, because what's, what's you're not in love or do you don't like... Well, I haven't been in love with anybody that, you know, um, mm-hmm. would like that before. But certainly outside of my shorty now. But well, she's not like that, of course. She's, yeah, she's but I'm, I'm saying it's unhealthy to even want to create somebody else and like and basically in your image like that's fucking crazy because you don't love that person you love your if you could create that person but the thing is then in, in that if that's the case then that person is interchangeable they're replaceable because i can just you can do that with anybody take somebody else and do it yeah exactly. or at least try to do it now you're just a sick person now you're like a no, total narcissist yeah you're like god man. you think <laughs> you're like god you're like god you think god, you're god. You think. yeah you know you gotta like a person for who they are yeah yeah you might I believe in that, and you know, but you got to change certain things. I mean, you might want to work with them to improve certain things. Yeah, but who they are at their core, you—that's who you want them to be. That's that should be who you. Um, yeah, you can teach them, not change them. Teach, not change. Yeah, I think so. Teach, not change. If you do, you teach. Do I teach what? Mm-mm. <laughs> You're not a teacher. Mm-mm. You like, oh, I'm going to take the nigga out. Yeah, I don't like him. I'm just throwing him out. Okay, because he's a grown man. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I don't have time to change. <laughs> that makes sense. That, that that makes sense. I got a new idea. This is totally sidebar. Oh, I don't know if I want to say it. Well, I can say it. I got a new idea uh-huh. for, a, for a clothing line. You're looking kind of like, you're looking kind of Spanish. But I think he's looking Spanish to you a little bit. I thought he was Spanish. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Um, it's going it's to be called Y bar. Y bar. Okay, talk How to me about it. How do you spell it? Like y, y, the the letter Y, and then B A R. Mm-hmm. Young, black, and righteous. Ooh, Ooh, you like that? I like that. I made mm, that up last different night. Different as hell. It's cool, huh? Y bar. <sighs> well, yeah, I can get your I can get your Shopify off the ground for a nominal fee. Y bar, nigga. You know what I mean? Come on, working. But they don't sound. But it, I mean, the acronym is dope. But it don't sound. You just gotta put it. Okay, like you can do like a, a hoodie and put it in the like the Y bar on the mm-hmm. back, or you can put the Y bar on the left on the wherever mm-hmm. side. But you still gotta put the name up somewhere. On the, the whole thing spelled out, so you yeah, know you it makes have sense. It written out. And the, the logo should be like a. It, should, it can't be a Y. Yes, it can. It could. Why not? It should be a question. Why not? It should be a question. Not why not. I don't know. I'll come up with that. Just something I want to throw out there. Slim cool idea, man. huh? Normal fee, I can get you off the ground, man. Because I was thinking last night, like being being black in this country is hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. Even if then, you're a billionaire. And and if you're young, yeah, being a young nigga in this country is hard. Mm-hmm. Well, a young wo- black woman too, of course. I'm mm-hmm. not saying mm-hmm. that. Don't minimize. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying say, don't minimize. Well, I'm the not black at all because struggle. the the black struggle, both man and woman, is is. The hardest thing ever, but especially, and this isn't to negate what our sisters go through either. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, as a as a man, because everything ultimately falls on your shoulders, and you are the provider, and you have to, that's it's all up to you. You're supposed to be. You're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. That's it makes it hard. And then if you're actually righteous, if you're a, a you know playing good person, playing you're playing by the rules. rules. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying, man, bro. And I just I just all thought the odds are stacked. Young, you. black, and righteous. What's the acronym? Y bar. Y bar. That's not bad. You know what I mean? You like it? Yeah, I thought it was cool. I could work with you. You know, I got a bunch of ideas. I'm like the, I'm like the, um, I am the Kanye West of this shit. Bro. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Might not want to, might not want to use his name right now. Yeah, no, we're I'm, using. I'm, it. I'm, I'm using his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know how many views we're getting on YouTube off of using Kanye's name? We're going insane oh, no, on we YouTube went right dumb. now. We were dummy. We're, every video. So can somebody tell me exactly what's going on? How, why is he making so much, so much, like so many apologies? Like I never well, even he heard him say that. anything. He, he ain't really apologize. He didn't say anything bad. All he said was, "Jewish people are." Essentially utilizing their power to like try to shut me up and fuck me over in business deals. What mm. he's saying, and because Jewish people have so much power over then they, the they media use, yeah. that they're like, well, if you don't like us, nigga, then it's fuck you. And now, every, like, he they're literally turning the world against them, the whole world. But know that you can say anything about anybody else, and it's that's not gonna happen to you. You see yeah. what I'm saying? But because they like own every fucking thing, literally. You know, the richest Haitian is Jewish. Oh wow! The richest Jamaican is Jewish, the richest Puerto Rican, the richest Bahamian, the richest Brazilian. The top three richest Brazilian are all Jewish. Like, God damn, my nigga. How are they? There's a thousand Jewish people in Haiti. The richest uh, of of like twelve million people in the whole country. <laughs> One of the one thousand Jew is the richest person. 
Not even fucking Wyclef. <laughs> Not even Wyclef Jean is the richest person. Andre Berto. Jason Underwood None of our famous niggas Where the fuck niggas. is Kodak Kodak, <laughs> Kodak, Kodak Black fucking is not the richest, richest nigga out there man <laughs> It's some Jewish guy What's even going on You see some what I'm young, saying Some young guy <laughs> <laughs> Some young guy Some young guy No oh, they, they really got They really got a, the, the Chinese They really got a Something called Some young guy I know I'm, you know what I'm, I'm laughing Cause it's like It sounded Chinese Cream of some young guy It's like a real would you, soup Would y'all ever go To Japan yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you I want to go to the Harajuku. Part? I heard that they, the animals out there, like they, um, they make them move slow. You I know, no like idea. they, they're around people, mm-hmm. so they like inject them and stuff. Like med- no they, idea. they're on medications. I'm not they're sure. On they drug the animals. Yeah. Japan's a crazy like place. Though. Thailand. Well, I don't know Thailand. So Thailand, my uh, somebody I know, my homeboy, he's over there right now. He oh, watches. He him. watches unpredictable. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 he's in Thailand right now. Yeah, he, ask him. He's loving Thailand. Oh, because the animals yeah. are around. Like I'm talking about tigers, like mm-hmm. lions, and all that. Nah, I don't think that's Japan. No, that's, that's Thailand. Dope. I just said Thailand. Thailand. Okay, well, I could dope. be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. He just said that Thailand, bro. He spent what he say on the chain, right? No, no, not on the chain. He he's for like a month. His hotel room for a month. Resort over the over don't say five hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> and, and he said, he said, he said that if he wanted to sign a lease with them, that it would go down to like four hundred. I'm out. And he's like, it's popping. Like it's, he's like, it's like Vegas. I can't be in there. Thailand it's, though. He's like, it's popping. I can't, bro. Why not? Because Thailand, it's just so Asians. It's far That's as I can't do that. It's bro. Africans over there though. He said he met a lot of Nigerians. That's over what's there. up, bro. But I'm not. Nigerian. I'm not, bro. <laughs> I can't do that, bro. I'm already. It's it's already one thing to be a minority. <laughs> amongst the whites mm. Being a minority Amongst the Asians Is going to be A whole different ball game. They don't care. The Asians is alright They're better they're than cool White people but they, I used to hang With some Asians I used to I used to. We used to read together The, the Bible together For real You went to church With the, with the Asians they, went to, I went, you to, you the went Asian to the Asian Korean church. one You went, you to, went to, the to the Asian church No it was like a Basically like a like a, a Korean Christian church okay. Like no, it was, was like Predominantly English. Like Asians in Yeah there. Okay, Like young okay. young Asians And yeah It was okay. like two black girls Which is me and my That's sister That's what's up <laughs> so, yeah. Y'all was just in there okay, okay I wouldn't go to Thailand I'd go to Japan though I, w- I would go to either I wouldn't go to Thailand I'll, I'll go, go down there And I'll go all I w- over the I want to go to I want to go every. I want to go all of them Yeah I mean I would eventually the But I'm saying Asian if I had to if I had to pick Japan, for sure. I want to go to the Harajuku part, though. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Harajuku no. Barbie. Yeah, that I got from Nicki Minaj. That's how I looked up the Harajuku. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that thing. is. It's like a whole, it's like some area in, in Tokyo. That's Do they dope. look like Barbies? No, but they like, That's it's like a fashion. Shops. And yeah, they got yeah. like all yes. the lights, yes. you know. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yes. I yes. want to see yes. where they did the um the movie. Tokyo Drift? <laughs> no, the movie, the, the game movie. The game. The game? The one that just happened that y'all said you didn't really like it. Oh, that's South Korea. <laughs> Where? Squid Games. Oh, Squid Games is in Korea. South My Korea. dad went to Korea. Yeah. South, South Korea. Korea, I heard, is crazy. <laughs> North Korea. Uh, what's that? Uh, South Korea. Seoul. 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 Yeah. Seoul. Uh, Seoul. 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 Uh, Korea. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's where they make these phones at. The Samsung phones. The better phones than y'all phones. Nah, nigga. Oh my god Y'all glass come from Korea I need y'all to do y'all research And just come back So we can talk about phones Because no, I want to know At this no, point No like, the, the research is Going to be in my favor But But <laughs> but the opinion Is going to be in the iPhone's favor The iPhone is more popular This is a better phone It just is My RAM The RAM I'm kicking the same RAM Your computer is My nigga Yeah but they're come changing on. The thing The bottom charger What Yeah they're changing it to, to USB yeah. Something What C I don't know Like ours uh, no, I think I was gonna be better. No, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, exactly. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be better because the color of the messages. That's the dumbest argument in the world to me when people go, "Your messages are what color are my messages? Green? Like who gives a fuck what color my bubble is?" Man? What about Dubai? Oh, I'm, I'm going to, to Dubai. Go to Dubai. You, you're going to Dubai. I'm going to go. Yes, what? next year everything is already. Yeah. Now, who who's taking you to Dubai? My friend. Oh, your friend. Oh, oh, oh. No, literally my friend. <laughs> go ahead. I, I don't know, man. What? What's up? You don't want to go to Dubai? No, I can't go to Dubai. Why? Why? Go to Dubai? I just... It's uh, popping. It's not, man. I can see you with the whole, you know, the whole... You dress in the whole Arab guard. Everything. Nah, because I'm going to go to jail. Why? Why? Because, bro, I'm, one of them niggas is going to look at me hella crazy and shit, bro. Like, he's oh my God. like the nigga. And what are you going to do? He is the nigga. He's but in I, his but kingdom. Fuck you, though. You know what I mean? Like, 
Well, that's why you're going to jail. No, you're in the desert in my domain, nigga. Did you watch The Beast? The season you're no, doing. No, what's that? It is that. You is have not watched The not, Beast? Don't belong to him. How it don't belong to him? That's the Euphrates is over there. No, no. The, you, Dubai is like at the bottom. Like, that's 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 the, that's the Arab's land. Okay, it's well at then, like well, the bottom. Well, what's up, bro? You ever, what's the baddest fucking Arab fighter you've ever heard of? <laughs> I don't Khabib? <laughs> He's not Arab. You see what I'm saying? He's an Eastern European. That means, that means, <laughs> He's like Ukrainian. That's what I'm saying. I, I ain't heard a nail one some bitch from Saudi American. Arabia. American. American. You know what he's known for? What? A, a glass, glass chin. chin. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> American. I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be the king in Saudi Arabia. Bro, they, you're going to be like DJ Esco <laughs> and locked know, up for 56 did, nights, did, nigga. Did you hear what, did no, you what Charles and White said about what girl? Brittany Griner? <laughs> yep. You're going to be like Brittany Griner, <laughs> nigga. Call it for you can't even call for help. <laughs> yeah, and then you hear her appeal got denied, right? She's, yes. she's done. She's done. It's over over a damn weed baby. You hear what Charles DeWise said about That's fucked up. Um, he, that he will go anywhere in the world. He said black people can go anywhere in the world, pull our dicks down and be king. <laughs> Something is wrong with Charles White, man. <laughs> Something is ser- just, Something is seriously wrong I'm just, with Because the way my mind works is just stupid, right? So I'm just imagining <laughs> how uh, that plays uh, out. Right, you just go somewhere and you go on with the toppest mountains where everyone can see you <laughs> and pull your fucking pants down and they just start fucking getting on their hands and knees and you know, <laughs> and, and, like, and worshiping you. This is dumbest shit ever, bro. <laughs> just conceptually, how stupid is it? Like, you ain't got more to offer. See that's no that's some psychological shit I'm telling you that's some real deep psychological shit when a nigga all he got to offer is a motherfucking pull his dick out, Jesus Christ, <laughs> man, man oh man. Um, have you ever heard you went to Jamaica recently? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard that they have a resort in Jamaica called Hedonism? No. You never heard of that? What is that? It's a swingers resort. That sounds like some demonic. No, it no it's very demonic. So this, I was on a clubhouse and this guy was telling me about this hedonism and he went there for somebody's birthday party years ago and he said like there's three pools there. One is the naked pool, one is the closed pool, and one is the optional pool. So you go to this stuff and you know, you people will be just be randomly having sex and playing orgies. Sight. Orgies, but then some people, he said for the most part people like couples approach other couples and invite them back to the room. the room type deal to to do it so <laughs> anyway he's explaining this and so me and my friend we get to cracking jokes and we're like so imagine that you know you go in there with your wife and um you know you guys are we're gonna do this we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna wife swap or whatever and you know let's say you guys meet a couple and your wife's really hitting it off with the husband mm. and the, his wife is just trash like what happens trash. then and, and now your wife's looking at you like hey my nigga like you gotta take one for the team <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and then look look think about our argumentation is gonna be though like you did it for your boys man when you was younger you know what yeah, I mean so you, you, can, you my, can't do you it can't, for me you can't tell me no <laughs> that's crazy. man I'm telling you that just it, I, I wanna see somebody recreate that like in a skit Cause that shit will be hilarious, nigga. Your wife pressing you to take one for the team. Catch a grenade. Remember that saying? Oh, song? I remember the first time I got introduced to that saying. For real? Yep. How was that? Somebody asked you to catch a grenade for him? Uh, yeah. And I ended up telling the girl like, "You're a grenade." Oh. Wow. That's what. This is what we're here for. You're such a cruel nigga, bro. <laughs> He's a cruel I'm nigga. Cause she tried to be cool, and, like she tried to like click up with me and type stuff, and it's like, nah, nah, you don't. Why, why wouldn't you just be cool with her? Nah, I was cool, but then she tried to get too familiar. Which you? How did she try to get too familiar? Like she tried to like start scooting closer towards a nigga and nah, shit. Nah, that's. I mean, just playing nah, bro. cool. Let me tell you something, bro. It, it, he hates underdressed. It ain't. Nah, it ain't. It ain't cool with her though, because she's. <laughs> it's not like she's. She's not cool and unattractive. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? If you're going to be unattractive, you got to be kind. No, you got to be kind as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She was mean? Because Some girls is ugly is mean when they ugly because her they know was, they ugly. Her name was um, Doja. Doja? Doja Cat? Yeah, the bitch name was Doja. <laughs> and so... <laughs> um, <laughs> the way this nigga just said that. Yeah, the bitch name was Doja. And so... She was black? No. No, I would never treat her bad. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. The bitch name was Doja. What the hell was she? She was white. Named Doja? Yeah. <laughs> I never heard that. Or maybe it was Deja. This de- Either I, way, yeah. Deja? Nah, I'm pretty Deja sure it was Doja. Girl, for real. Doja? Yeah, it was Doja. It was Doja. It was Doja. It was Doja. 
Okay. And it was my um Doja. My, my homeboy Isaac. Uh-huh. He is like, yo, he got the at the time we live in our little world, so at the, he thinks it's one of the baddest girls ever. It's just probably the decentest looking girl in, run the within the square mile. Yeah, of you course. See what I'm of course. But he's like, yo, she got a friend. I don't know what she looked like. She might be a grenade though. Mm. So then Can you explain grenade for me? Like you're catching like remember when Bruno Marshall <laughs> catch a grenade for you? Like oh. this is it's gonna hurt you. It's, it's, it's not good for you. It's You'll, not. It's not good. Yeah. I, I'm. It's a sacrifice. It's. I'm sacrificing my body. Oh my god. For you, for my friend, for so he so he can win. I think he took her to like a um, a dugout. Like in the baseball field. Yeah. And well, I, y'all was at the school. Yeah. And okay. I, and I was in like the field with the girl. Okay. And it was it, it was just never gonna happen. And she tried to she tried to push up on you and oh, you were like me, yeah baby it's it. not even oh. finna this ain't even that type of party. Um, <laughs> if you can find it that's crazy as hell. I hope you can find it because I want to see this. Uh, God, she was just awful. I, I want to see this specimen. Um, My best friend caught one of the worst grenades of all time for me twice, and. I, I, you appreciate. I, I really love that man for that man. You, you don't even understand. He can't. I wouldn't even. It was so bad. I didn't even ask. Holy he offered. Shit, I found this girl, bro. Oh, I can't. Hold Put, me, bro. No, let us I see can't. it. I'm let us see you. it. I want to show the camera. No, <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I don't, do I don't do the camera. Bro, I can't believe this nigga tried to do this to me, bro. Let me show you. He's Should a, I get a recent picture or what? What she looked like at that? I need. Both. I need both. We yeah, need yeah. Both. we need before and after. <laughs> you need before and after. Okay, I can't find one from oh. a current one. Wow. Her, yeah, her name is Doja, nigga. <laughs> bitch named Doja, man. This, said the bitch then, name is Doja. Damn, and I found the girl that the, the nigga was with too. She's so fucking average, anyway. But she compared to her, she's a goddamn supermodel, right? Giselle. So this is, <laughs> bro. I can't. Was, this nigga tried to hook me up. This this girl tried to, this girl right here. Tell me that is. Hey, the most hey, I'm, I'm gonna be honest cute. with you, man. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ah, fuck that. Me, I'm not even sitting there. No, I'm, I'm gone. No, I was gone. I'm, I'm nigga. Gonna be honest, I, I'm gone. I, I walked away, bro. The I'm gone. Yeah. Like she off. kept trying to be cool, the bro. Piercing, yeah. Like yo, you. Sam, hey, I'm gone, my nigga. She is Sammy the Bull for real. Like she's a bull. You not see that? Sammy she, the bull. She's the bull, homie. Like she looks like a goddamn ox. And she tried, bro. You don't like girl with septums, man. I like septums personally. I don't like them. She emo for sure. I don't like them, but there are some girls who are decent looking with them on. She is absolutely yeah, not she one just of looks them. Dirty. You know what I mean? So here come these Ugandan niggas, big old funny body ass Ugandan niggas, right? Just big as hell, but like hella weird shaped ass niggas, I'm man. Crazy. I'm my name was weird shaped. So we was playing basketball, right? We had the Mira Mesa Rec. Mira Mesa is like an Asian neighborhood in San Diego, like super duper Asian. But you slick. You like gonna have some Mexicans, some Africans. Black, like it's, it's a little mixture, but it's mostly Asian. So we hooping up there, whatever, nigga. And these these motherfucking that fucking Uganda niggas in there, right? So you know we're sitting there all day playing basketball. And niggas get to talking about girls, right? And these niggas are in high school. They go to um, where these niggas go to Tory Pines and shit like that. That's like some uppity white shit in uh in in San Diego. Anyway, they start talking about white girls. And just how amazing white women are. They start, we're like, it's me and Cap, mind you. We're like, my nigga, show me, show me the bitches y'all niggas got, right? I, w- I want to see them, right? They start going on their damn phone. They start showing us pictures of the most average looking white bitches in the world. And he's like, oh my God, she is so bad. She has so much class. This, I said, yo, I said, you niggas, bro. I don't know how the fuck you got run out. Your parents said, we coming to America. You niggas are going to get you a white woman. Like, but nigga, they were telling me, like, these niggas, they had to, they had white women on such a pedestal. bro. I've never seen the pedestal. I, I've never seen such a pedestal. I'm talking about just regular assholes. Like, oh, my. They're like, oh, my God. That's probably Do what they saw every day, though. Yeah, and that's, but there's black girls that went to their school. A black girl asked one of them niggas to homecoming, and then nigga said no. I said, bro, the level of white supremacy in that nigga's mind is insane. These are some niggas there from fucking Uganda, my nigga. It's the first niggas I ever met from Uganda. Because it was different Africans up there. You had, like, niggas from, like, Cameroon and shit. Like, you had different Africans up there. Then it was these Ugandan niggas, right? Oh, no, they was off, man. They was all funny body looking. We just weird, big ass niggas. How they shoot? They They wasn't even good like that. We was... got to do out of here. No, no, we was going in there running them niggas, bro. You got to do out of here. Them niggas just... <laughs> no, no, never do it. Them niggas was just big, right. so they they could drive on you. They'll put a body on you in the paint. That's it. That's all they can do. They can't shoot the ball. 
Are you kidding me? They can't dribble the ball. They can't really shoot the ball. They can just body you down low. That's it. Yeah. Right? Big old funny built ass you got. I want to know about Shout out to the my Ugandan Jews though. I fuck with them. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to Real know, niggas. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know about VODs, the new VODs experience. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? Oh, you yeah, weren't there. No, I wasn't there. Let me tell you something. I was booed up. This this Yeah, we've been rolling. Yeah, nice. This girl walked up, this girl walked up to me and said, it got too African for you. <laughs> Not because he was ready to leave. So I was like, oh, it must be too African for you right now. No, no. It, it, it got like. When I say Africans was in there, it was a lot of. No, no, like. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was. He's just different lot. Africans. My cousins was all in his section. Like, they was all. No, like, no. I, they had to, Our section had begun to be dominated. But that's all right. But it was girls, though. Okay. I wasn't tripping. Right. And because we was like. Well, one of them was really lit. Who the little light skin one? The little that's I, that's not my family, but I know the, I know it's not your family. Yeah, the no, little she was little doing one. a lot. But I'm sure <laughs> I think was she cool. was on some something, something for real. She came in there. You know they got the they're that, they're big Ebo, right? No, no, no. 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 It's all it was all kind of Africans in there. No. Yeah, the ones that was the ones I was talking to was my cousins for real. Like, okay, Ebo, them is your people. They were Ebo. They're Ebo. Okay. The skinny girl that was standing on the couch. Uh huh. She's American. You better say I, I know. I can tell yeah. when she walked in. She's not even African. She just likes. She was shit. on some <laughs> shit. She probably was on something. She was lit. Her, light, as, her eyes were like glazed. Like she was lit she as a was mother. On something. I'm talking about. She was going in. I kept telling her, I was like, um, please don't hit nobody or step on nobody because she was just <laughs> she was jumping like a rock star, no, literally on the couch. She was barefoot. I don't was remember. She? No, there was girls barefoot though. But 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 the girls who were barefoot weren't barefoot on the ground. They're they were the barefoot on the couch at least, because barefoot <laughs> on the ground. That's crazy. It's crazy. Call Blackfoot. Blackfoot. <laughs> she Blackfeet. Black she Blackfeet. Blackfeet black Indian. <laughs> but listen, we was in Africa somewhere deep in the Central African Republic. Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm just like, like you said. I General know, Button. It was General Button. General Button. <laughs> listen, bro. I know the African songs, the regular ones they be playing. When they start playing some That's shit. Cool. No, they went deep. They like, it took a le- I was like. We just all just so start kind of sitting there like, <laughs> it's time to go. and look at how these niggas are dancing. How were they? What's what, what, what the? What's I the, can't even explain how they were dancing. I don't even. I'm like, what? Who? who all I'm thinking in my mind is like, who dances like this? <laughs> Combine three genres of music that we have currently to to describe what that I was. I couldn't possibly. Man. It was a little bit. It was dance hall mixed with what? No, no, it's nothing like any of that, bro. I'm it not, was just African as fuck. No, it, listen. Like what? How? How far into the continent of Africa are we? No, like I said, bro, we were in Chad. (laughs) You know where Chad is? Like in dead in the middle of Africa. We were in the center. We were in Chad, (laughs) Uganda, uh, Central African Republic, formerly the Congo, formerly the Belgian Congo. Uh Yes, we were in fucking Chad, nigga. (laughs) I was just kind of like, then the security walked up on us. You know the light skinned one? I will. He said, Y'all good? The expression on y'all niggas' faces is priceless right now. <laughs> I just, it just, you know, I know a little bit. I don't do, you know, that I know, you know the songs. What are the songs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, hard. Uh, I'm with that. Or, or no, no, there's more. There's, no, there's more. Of the essence. He probably saw something like that. Really Somebody, hold on. Bro, nah, they, no, like, no, no, like that. Tim's ain't like, like that. Doing crazy that's shit. a cool little dance. I'm not, I like that dance. Oh, no, that's a crib. Like, that's a crib. Let me see. Oh, bro. No, no, no. They were doing that. They were doing <laughs> that. A group of niggas doing. No, listen, listen, listen. Nah, listen, hold on. No, they was doing that. It's the culture. Listen, they it's was the doing culture. that, but they wasn't even hitting it that clean yeah, though. They, they weren't even hitting that that clean. I'm telling you. That looks cool. That's what I was like. I'm looking at. I'm like, I ain't never seen no more black people that just is dancing fucked up like this. In my life, and was they wearing no <laughs> socks with their fucking shoes, homie? Well, no, I mean, I was. No, about, they had on. Um, they had I, I'm on looking at girls, so so they got on fucking, they got on <laughs> heels and shit. But listen, no, it was wow. a nigga in there. Listen, there was a nigga we were laughing at all night. What was it? And nigga walked in right. I'm gonna laugh if you know who it is. He walked in. He had a dragon shirt on, like the ones niggas used to wear in the '90s. Yeah. A pink do rag on, <laughs> and some fucking Air Force one. Bro, I'm. A, this is one of the funniest outfits I've ever seen in my life. But then you had niggas in there that was like on some real African shit. Like them niggas had the real the, the garb on. Like yeah. I, I'm like, I, yeah. I can fuck with that. I respect it. Right? Them niggas is keeping it cultural. Nigga, nigga, the one that was there? sitting next to you with the black, the, in the next section with the black with the with the glitter. Yeah, uh-huh. That's what you're talking about? No, I see him. He, he, I like that, that, that outfit. Do girls the like that? Huh? What if that's I the owner? Mm-hmm, that's that's one a one real nigga. I fuck with him. What if real I got nigga. one of them, them, them um, one of them garbs? 
purple. The purple too. Right? They be purple having the, they be having a purple one. What you think? They might say, nigga, you perpetrate, no. nigga. I'm no, saying, I'm you gonna, like, girls don't like that. Not too Man, purple. Niggas ain't gonna press me, bro. Yeah, they be doing like the. I mean, what the fuck are they gonna say? You're not African. Yes, the fuck you I am. Like a I'm African, homie. What you want me to do? I'm saying don't get purple though. You don't like purple? What you think? I'll get black. Yeah, I'm gonna get all black. Yeah, do all no, black. The, the yeah, nigga or no, red. The nigga was walking in with he had the black with the, he had the hat on everything. Yeah. I said, I can fuck it. He's keeping it. He's Only keeping thing the he truth. was missing was the feather. So what do girls? How do no, how do how do females <laughs> feel about that? The when they see that, they're like, this nigga's dripping. If she's yeah. a, if she's American, if she's African, she's gonna say that. If she's American, you know what she's gonna say? This nigga I'm got money. Yep. <laughs> 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 Look at this nigga got money. Do them money. niggas have like? Hold on, get, how, put put it in the middle so, so he can. Just one last thing. I'm gonna ask. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm go gonna ahead. give it to you. No, I'm just saying it's a way y'all can. How, how do they feel about bank accounts? Um, what you some, mean? Like, do they um, do they carry cash mostly, or are they fucking with them? Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Them I niggas would. got bank accounts. Folks is fraud specialists. Bro. Yeah, bro, come on, man. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Just because they African don't mean that. I'm trying. Fuck African. Nigerian. Nigerian. You niggas. You know about them folks. Buying our sexes with the fraud bank. Hey, look, look, look. I remember. I remember we was in Dallas. I'm telling you. I ain't gonna lie. In Dallas, we was we was hating on the Africans. I ain't gonna lie. We was hating. We said, man. Man, them niggas got the whole side over there, man. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was somebody that I had. It was mm-hmm. straight scamming. Straight scamming. You know you lot, Africans like, are scamming, man. Scamming, a lot of scamming. You know you niggas scamming. Man. <laughs> is this a, is this a scam? Yes. <laughs> He's trying to come up with the fucking box profile. He what's your number? Like, Let me pay him some cash. It ain't. Read the top. Nice try, Nigerian. Oh, the dude that has to. Look, look, he hit me up. He said, what's your number? What's your number? Yeah, nice try. <laughs> he, <was a> <laughs> he went there. Yeah, nigga, we out here. We trying to get it. I said, bro, the dude you had this Evo. Give me shit. Nigga said, damn, for real? I'm going to give him it back now. Some of, the, some of their pieces, um, mm-hmm. pieces be going through, though. Is that what? Some of their pieces go through. Yeah, I know it. You run them. Nah, because mm-hmm. I, I met what? <laughs> you run them. I met one, and he just kept, like, it was only two of them at first. And he was like, she was like, let me get the girl. I think, I feel like the girl was American. Yeah. She was like, let me get two shots of Reposado. I was like, cool. Then she, he was like, um, if I get two bottles, where are you going to put me? And I was like, I mean, it's only two of y'all, so why do y'all have to move? And then she, he was like, well, I just want a bigger section. I was like, all right, bet. So he was like, let me get a black, black label. I gave him a black label. And then I came back, and she was like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a bottle, too. I'm like, bro, it's only two of y'all. Like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. So they ended up getting a bottle. And then um, as soon as I gave him the tab, she, he gave it to her. Mm-hmm. So I was like... Um, I was like, uh, if y'all come, if y'all want to come back or whatever, you know, let me know, and then blase blase, mm-hmm. and then he was like, oh no, that's not my girl, that's my, um, he said that's my business partner, <laughs> and I'm looking like, huh? And then as soon as as soon as I gave, when she was about to give me her card, she showed me her bank account. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't need to see your bank account. She was like, no, because it might decline, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna have to call the bank. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that was that was definitely was fraud. Yeah, man. it was like 10k. Running, they're running it. We yeah, t- we he, he he kept saying my money is in there, my money is in there. Like I feel like he put them, yeah. Uh huh. He, he but she had the card. It. She, I wouldn't put it in my personal though. She put it in her personal. Yeah, that's risky. That's fuck. That's risky as hell. It depends on how many transfers they made. Yeah, right exactly. Under, and they tra- 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 <laughs> checking their money. Yeah. We talking that shit though, but the Haitians scamming in the motherfucker too though. So we can't really, we ain't really uh as stigmatized with it. But uh, yeah. Listen, I know, I know a man. I'm talking about the end of body or not. We skin, we skin. <laughs> Hayes just came, a friend of mine. Hayes just came, skinned him for about <laughs> 25, scammed him out of it though. Yeah. Not no strong arm, just straight scammed him out of about 25,000. Jesus. Smooth and got gone. <laughs> got lost on that nigga. I was talking about get, got the bank info. No, listen. Ran it through. Did the little. Uh, listen. <laughs> the, and then was. The did, deposit. And vanished. <laughs> <laughs> and them niggas vanished, That's nigga. Dope. Damn. Like in New York, it's Haitians just doing all the scamming. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like in New York, it's a lot of scamming going on over there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a scam. Capital. And Florida. Scam. Oh yeah. Florida. What, Florida. Florida. what about Cali? Florida? We call that shit. I know. Sweat. I know it. California. You remember when they were doing the scamming with the um? Damn. What was it called? It was right after the PPP. They did something else out there. What unemployment? 
Huh? Unemployment. I think it was unemployment. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Unemployment. bro. That's how everybody. That's 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 why the crime is so high right <laughs> like, now. Everybody. I was went, trying to go out there. Everybody went and got motherfucking guns with extended clip. Like nigga, everybody spent all their money on guns. Thirty. Thirty. Listen, you know me. Listen, it's African. I know. I don't know. It's it's my um my it's, it, no listen I know I don't know I really I really don't know what the nigga name the nigga got a funny ass name too he's Sudanese he fucking um he my my cousin in laws I, I don't even know how to explain it the relationship right he's some distant he's somebody daddy that I am through marriage type deal anyway this this nigga man he's in the penitentiary right now he ran it. Up from the pen, everybody's unemployment in California. In from the penitentiary, on the jail phone. Jesus Christ! Bust that motherfucker shit smart, smart as hell. Down, nigga, Sudanese nigga. I should have called him. I'm talking about ran it up, but them niggas in California, them, <laughs> them niggas in California went and bought guns with all that. That's why the crime's so high right now, though, because niggas got used to getting that money so much. Now yeah. they got to do whatever to keep it. That's why everybody's celebrity house is getting hit. That's why PNB Rock got his ass killed. All that. It's just yeah. you ain't hear what happened in Roscoe's last week. No, nigga, they ran up in Roscoe, stripped everybody in Roscoe's. The same place. A, a, a Roscoe in a nicer area. He went to the worst Roscoe's you could go to. Right. They went to the nicer Roscoe's on Pico. One of them. One of the nicer Roscoe's on Pico. What is security, bro? Listen, and yeah, exactly. you know I was listening to that on the way here. Roscoe's is number one. <laughs> way, it's way overrated. Yeah. I, I would never go to any Roscoe's. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about going to Roscoe's at all. Niggas be on the hype like it's hella bomb, and niggas is risking their life and getting robbed to, for some chicken and for an Obama special. That's what it's called, the Obama so special. They, they know people um like attacking Roscoe's or what is it? That was just like a one-time thing. No, niggas is always going. I mean that Ro- Roscoe's is. I mean the Roscoe's where P and B Rock got killed. I don't know why anybody would ever eat at that Roscoe's. I don't even know why that Roscoe's exists. He That's probably like went there because trap. he thought it was low-key. Insane, low-key. He probably would think, was thinking like nobody would think that I would go there. Yeah, he 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 went there because he he is not, he just wasn't thinking. Yeah. That right there, <laughs> I listen, you're dumb for going there. Neither with the eyes on. Especially with that. You may you yeah. might as well just be there cool, but if yeah. you just a nigga over there, yeah. you're going to attract attention, period. Yeah. And then yeah. a, a father and son, the one that killed him, right? Yeah. yeah, a father and son got him. Mm-hmm. Father and son fucking skinned him. Nah, I think it's a lady working on Working, because ain't nobody else supposed to be here. It's, it's a little early. But but just in conclusion, so at the other Roscoe's, they ran in there, they stripped everybody, nigga, all their jury, everything, all their money. But they didn't got kill nobody, right? No, they ain't kill nobody, because niggas gave it up. Yeah, niggas That's niggas what you got to do. Up. When they got you, nigga, just give it up. Yeah. Your life for that. Right. I'll, I'll stay alive. <laughs> I will stay alive. You Rob. saw the um, jewelry store that got robbed, and they gave they gave the dudes like fake fake jewelry. Nah, I don't know what it was yeah, on. Prop jewelry, like it was fake. It was whatever was in the front was fake, and they kept like giving it to them. Yeah, and then they left. If it's smart, if you're that's smart, smart, you yeah. got the fake shit in the case anyway. Yeah, that's, that's genius. That's smart, yeah. All right, y'all take it. I this shit know. is bullshit anyway, and, and it's insured. You know, nigga doing the smash and grab. <laughs> Man, yeah. shit, you're taking everything out. You, got you ain't even get, you ain't even getting yeah. nothing. It's all in the safe, yeah. nigga. I wanted to go to Roscoe's when I was out there with my auntie, but I said, "Fuck no." So mm-hmm. you can leave it in the middle. Okay, we're good. Got to pull it. Okay. If you leave it in the middle, yeah. But I just went to some just hole in the wall spot off a corner of uh, in, uh, Crenshaw, and Manchester, uh-huh. and it was. Like I seen niggas in there, but it was hella early. So I, I mean, you're just a regular person, though. You're not. You don't have a hundred thousand dollars of jewelry on your neck, right. anything like that. You're not gonna check. The most a nigga do is ask you where you from. That's the most. Now that that's liable to happen to any black person. <laughs> Period. How would you ask this nigga where he's from if he was still <laughs> gangbanging, and you just seen him in the set? Was how was he getting? Nigga, where you from, my nigga? From the M, nigga. You from, well, nigga, what's the M, nigga? Nigga, oh, no, they're from, from Memphis. Oh. I'm going to start acting they retarded. Are. I promise. If they walk up on me, if there's too many of them, I'm going to start acting retarded. Where the fuck is you from? <laughs> no, I'm like, niggas, will, nigga, where your mama stay, though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Do you have a mom? Right. Fuck your mama, nigga. <laughs> That's the level of ignorance. Look, the bro got a job at USC. He hit me up. He like, man. What should I be doing? He from Houston. I said, hey, look, bro, just don't wear your Houston hat, nigga, right. number one. Right. But uh, so he he living on campus. USC smack dead in the middle. Nigga, it's in the brims. It's in brims on one side, yeah. and that's it, the harpies on the other side. Right. 
right? Which is a gigantic. You know who's from Harpies? Shia LaBeouf is from Harpies. Shia LaBeouf is from Harpies. <laughs> Niggas don't even know that. Transformer. He's Transformer. He's from Harpies. He's legitimately a Harpies member, my nigga. I'm telling you. So anyway, uh, uh. Uh, they say his mama stayed over there. Like he grew up over there before he got famous yeah. and shit. But uh, 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 he so he go to the beauty supply. He's like, I'm just trying to get a pick. Nigga, he said it's 20 niggas outside tripping with him. As soon as he gets out the motherfucking car, nigga, yeah, bro, it's not. Oh, <laughs> nigga, tripping. How bad you do you think Atlanta would be if the, there was gangbang of politics like that? There <clears throat> There'd be a thousand murders a year. <laughs> Easy. I, if, if there was if there was gangbang politics in Atlanta like in L.A. Atlanta would be the murder capital, hands down. So what's the murder capital right now? St. Louis. St. Louis right now. There's one city that I have to go to. Which is what? New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, I got to go to New Orleans. But that's a, that's a dangerous place, too. It's very dangerous. Right. You, 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 you been there? Mm-mm. But I'm going. New Orleans is dangerous. I got family out there, so we're good. Mm-hmm. I got peoples, nigga. Mm-hmm. Wherever. I don't, I'm good. I'm Any, bringing my own family. <laughs> bring your own family. <laughs> Lord in Christ, but but if Atlanta has some LA shit going on, <clears throat> nigga, it would be horrible around this motherfucker, bro. Nobody would want to live here. It'd be too. It's already dangerous. It's already violent. But if you add the gang element, the real gang element, see Memphis got a gang element, and why Memphis is dangerous. Just think about Memphis. The niggas is really damn near on some California shit. In Memphis. And all in the same hoods. And all in the same hoods. The same hood. Niggas is banging all the Cali shit and in the Chicago shit too. Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a fusion. That's a recipe for fucking it's a fusion, it's a fusion as they would say. <laughs> it's a fusion. So so it's a recipe for disaster and my Memphis is bad. Yeah. Nigga, if they had that shit in the egg, nigga. <sighs> and ain't shit to do in Memphis either. And then yeah, and ain't shit to do in Bro, listen, when I went, I, I was rotten. <laughs> That's where everybody Listen, go and get that. And get that ass shot. We was in Where? East, and Bill yeah. Street in Memphis. We went to East Memphis. Yeah. Shorty took me to East Memphis, yeah. and was just riding me around in Memphis. And I, all I seen was police doing shit everywhere, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Every almost every two blocks, the police was dealing with something. And the East used to be the good side of it. And you can tell that yeah. it used to be the good side, but it's like all the clubs and shit yeah. is over there. Yeah, exactly. So. Everybody the, out there. Nigga, everybody out niggas, there. Niggas start moving from the hood, going out east and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Gentrifying downtown. So, nigga, you know, the hood going to be downtown, too. The, the mm. mound right across the downtown. downtown uh-huh. So, they trying to gentrify the mound and shit, nigga, from the mound moving to the east. And so, all that shit that was going on in the mound, just, just moving out east. <laughs> moving out east. It ain't really nowhere to go. Now, niggas moving up north and shit like that. Like Raleigh. And Cordova bad too, no? Cordova starting to get bad. Nah, Cordova, that's that's peaceful. No, that's peaceful. peaceful. Okay, okay, peaceful. okay. It's okay. Germantown. Germantown, <laughs> peaceful too. That's the east. All them, them, them the east them, area. East and going eastward. Okay, you know eastward. Okay, <clears throat> okay. You got, you got, you got so, Cardville, Cordova. We, we, we talked about something before you got here, right? I want to, I want, I want to volley to you, right? right. Um, it's a meme I seen on Hoodville which said, uh, "She loves to be held except accountable." <laughs> Right. How do you feel about it? You feel like women have a, a accountability issues? I say, I say, damn right. I say, damn <laughs> okay, right. okay. Yeah. Now, look, what she said was she feels like everybody got accountability issues. So what she's saying is she's not segmenting genders anymore. All right. Really, everybody's fucked up. And, and to a degree, to right? A degree, we can agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can, we can but, but like I said, I think women kind of have a higher propensity for accountability issues. Yeah, no? yeah I, I would agree with that. And it is mostly because the whole idea since they were young was, you know, just be pretty, you know, go be strong, independent, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to get it out. You're going to get it out, out of the, the world anyway. Uh-huh. The world going to give it to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. What's up? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't really ain't nobody really been checking them and, mm. and then you can see like they they fighting for their liberties. Mm-hmm. So with with more liberation is no accountability within it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They, okay. they didn't they didn't attach responsibility to their liberty. To their liberty, okay. You see okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's when accountability kind of started doing that, that I think I think that's interesting. What do you think about that? I just heard checking. What you checking? <laughs> Who you checking? Who you checking though? <laughs> he said ain't nobody checking them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> as far as like, ain't nobody getting on their ass for the shit that they doing. Mm-hmm. Getting on who ass? Women. The women. What is we doing? <laughs> how yeah. should, how should y'all y'all hyper hypersexual as hell, y'all. Ooh, like okay. we deal with like. How, so if you you would say let, let, let's ask this question, right? Uh-huh. 
what's the, what's the average? What you think the average body count for a woman is right now around the age thirty years old? Just thirty years old. So she started having sex probably around by 16, 16. 17. Uh-huh. By thirty, how many bodies you think she had? Thirty. I'm just playing. You know girls. Let's put it in perspective. You know, you girl. know girls. Listen, I'm saying. Let's, let's put it in perspective. And, and hold on, hold on. Now listen, though. Now listen. <laughs> you know girls. Yeah. And you know. Inside information, because y'all gonna talk, y'all gonna be more honest with each other. Than I'm you're saying gonna be though, because I ain't even counting. Okay, somebody. wait, th- yeah, thirty is too much because that's no, what, that's not too much. Nah. That's average. No, because I'm saying I was gonna average? say I was gonna say <laughs> one. Per, I was gonna say <laughs> one per year, but I'm saying you know they wasn't having sex when they was like fifteen up, and down. Uh-huh. So they had to catch up. They had to I, catch up. Look, I don't really know. <laughs> Let's just average it out. What's your body count? Sixteen. I'm average it out, and then one. Sixteen to thirty is is fourteen years. Let's say you do two a year. Uh huh. That's twenty eight. Yeah. So would you say? Would That's you say? I'm saying okay, but but a man, I think they like. No, man, man. Just accountability. You see that? I'm saying though, no, like on the NFL, on the NFL field, uh-huh. there's eleven players on offense, eleven players on defense. Uh-huh. That's twenty two. Uh-huh. Right. That's twenty two. She did more than that. That's more. Who so you watch an NFL game and you're saying not you, not you. Oh, no, exactly. not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, willing, not you. Yeah, yeah, not you. We're not saying you. We're talking about whoever. The, the average, the okay. average yeah. girl we're just picking her out. You watch an NFL game, watch a college football, game, watch a high school football game. Uh-huh. She has had sex with more than the people that you watch are watching. Do Do you disagree with that? You know women though. This is what I'm saying. You yeah, would know. Be honest you would I'm know. Saying, I'm pretty sure there's somebody like that in the world. But no, I'm no, saying, no, 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 no. How? Many, no, no. Okay, a no, female like that in the okay, world. Okay, no, no, not not even somebody. What j- just from what you've gathered from from people that you know, right? Girls that you yes, talk to. Yes, I agree. That's it. the average. That's it. So you saying like, the average this. girl got a tray ball? The, nigga. the average thirty year old. The average thirty year old. Mm-hmm. By the time she didn't reach thirty, she did more than likely knock roughly about twenty five to thirty men. Yeah. Now let me ask. I want to ask. That's dangerous. <laughs> That's dangerous. Now to me, because, no, no. But here, here, here's here's the. You know what? The, I think more. No, no. You, you think more, it, and you exactly. know, and you know the fucked up part about that is yeah. the average man ain't had that many bodies. Ain't even had that many bodies. The average man ain't fucking. Talk. No, no. The average. The now average listen, you're rolling your eyes, and I'm, I'm hearing you that. because it's niggas that because well, no, hold on, break it down. <laughs> The, the the minority of niggas is fucking all the bitches, right, right or wrong? So when you, when you do the statistics, when you do the statistics, <laughs> when you, when you look at what women want out of men, right? Mm-hmm. You you see that eighty percent to ninety percent of women want the same type man, so they all going for these same type men. Which when you deal with the numbers, roughly about ten percent of the <laughs> of the of the men are like fences, six foot and over. Only mm-hmm. motherfucker they try to deal with is six foot and over. Only motherfucker they try to deal with is motherfucker with six figures and up. Like these, these are not average niggas. You see what I'm saying? These are all above average qualities of men. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Making six figures is not easy. You see what I'm saying? Like we starting to make it happen now, you know. But it's not easy. A lot of niggas not making six figures. But all of the women, eighty percent to ninety percent of these women, is going after these top ten percent of men. So all of these ten percent, these ten percent of men is having their way with all these other. Had the most access. Yeah, they got mm-hmm. all the access to the women, and then the rest of the average, you know, Joe Schmo niggas is just picking off, <laughs> off the, the leftovers. Yeah, yeah, you know, the low hanging fruit. Uh huh. Yeah, you straight up, man? straight up. So you gotta think about it. Like the average man don't got thirty yeah, bodies at thirty. They ain't got thirty bodies. They lucky they got about fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> By thirty. By thirty. The average man is is. It's niggas that started fucking when they that's was like the yeah time. yeah the no but yeah and that's them and, and them and most of them niggas peak early that's true too I'm though I'm telling you they that's gonna peak too. early them folks gonna stop getting pussy around about 25 <laughs> 26 when they get out of, out of out of college it's gonna get harder for them mm-hmm. unless they got yeah no no nah, nah, no that's true because yeah. college when, when you're in school pussy is easy to come by yeah. cause, cause it's, you're not thinking about nothing it's right. all around and, and people's standards ain't necessarily court. there yeah. and it's like hormones is going crazy and hormones yeah. is right you're going through mm-hmm. changes right but once you in the world you're just in the world mm-hmm. and you really gotta go get it right nah that wouldn't become harder for and, niggas and just imagine these are niggas that still ain't made a foundation for their lives and shit like that like even if you still, like, quote unquote good looking nigga you still mm-hmm. gotta have the money or some shit like that okay what about the ones that be fronting all right, what about no, they they go be able to pump fake some pussy, they pump go, fake plenty pussy. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. but now, now it's about the quality of women that they that they dealing with. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The girl who just gonna be, uh-huh. yeah, he got and, and it went too hard. And he to don't, because do. <laughs> because it, it's a lot of times girls think associate things with niggas having money that aren't mm-hmm. 
don't actually indicate that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you right. get fooled. You know what I mean? You get fooled. Yeah. Like right, you can go buy a fake, uh, a fake ten thousand for it's like thirty dollars. I seen it. Are you talking about uh, prop money? Yeah, prop money. You yeah, get yeah. and it look real. You yeah, see what I'm saying? So yeah. if I'm, let's say I put, nah, for real. Though. Let's say I put some money on top of that you gonna and think? put, I look like I'm. Ha- yeah. It's gonna be like, nigga, this nigga have yeah. money. Stop playing. I'm nah, telling you. If I, I want to get on, so listen. Most, most most music videos is this bitch be prop probably, money. No, you saw the one where the girl thought it was her money. When they were throwing ones on her, oh yeah, it was hundred. He was throwing hundreds uh-huh. on her, yeah, and, and she was like, "Oh my god, I'm taking out all this shit." Yeah, that shit. And he was like, "Yeah, go ahead." Then it was pop money. I was like, "Damn." When Usher, when Usher, when Usher threw that money that had his face on it, you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I know the way, yeah. I know where you go to get it. Yeah. I found it. I'm like, "Yo, what oh, yeah, is this? You gonna get your face on it? Hey, look, give me, <laughs> nigga, who is this? And that ain't Ben Franklin, bitch. Yeah. That's me." All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, Jay Green back. To the, to the point, like like you just admitted, women not getting checked for going out and fucking 30 niggas. And the, the bad part about it is them same women that did not 30 motherfuckers by the time they 30 is still expecting them top niggas to deal with them on the level of they deserve to be a wife to somebody. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody check them to bring their ass back to reality like nobody checking for you no more. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Or you need to lower them standards. Or you need to lower standards or now, something now, like that. Now, now some... Now some girls will say it. Who get, it don't matter how high my body count is. Right. I'm gonna just tell you four anyway. Exactly. Like I know a woman. Yeah. Who, you know her body count is four. It doesn't change. It's just four. <laughs> and you are gonna take it? Yeah. Or, or you gonna leave it? Exactly. <laughs> it's just four. It's the exactly. saying you multiply by three. Is that? And you gotta ask yeah, her. Yeah, I don't I know. Say you add I don't. Uh, yeah. Listen, I don't I ask body saying. counts. You don't. I never ask so, body. So let me ask you something. Uh-huh. Does body count matter? Yeah, that's why I don't ask. <laughs> that's because if I hurt, if I <laughs> well, listen, what he don't know can't hurt him. L- listen, nah, that's tough. When bro. I was eighteen years old, I talked to this girl who was also eighteen years old, yeah. and she told me she had twenty four bodies. Easy, at Easy. eighteen. Yeah, yeah. And I said, and and from that in that instant, you e- immediately become my friend only. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. we can't be nothing else exactly. ever. No, you have twenty four pe- bodies at eighteen. Just the fuck. Are you doing? Now, some people might say that that's an insecurity. Like, why are you worried about what you know? What I mean, yeah, they're trying to change. They're gonna try to change. Why are you focused on whatever? Uh, uh, like, my past. Thing. They'll be like my past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm such. I'm the most secure nigga anyone's ever met. So what, what was your retort? And, and yeah. no, my thing. That's why I'm not asking body count. You what see what I'm saying? It. And it's so, so, so what's the issue? <laughs> well, like, for example, you have somebody named Diamond the Body right now. She's going viral. She has two thousand bodies. Yeah. No. Yeah, this shit real. Life. I just are you serious? But she she was life. a prostitute, so of course she got. If you was really hoeing, you got a thousand or two thousand bodies, my nigga. Two thousand. If you was imagine. really hoeing, you really fucked two thousand men, it, bro. That means that because you, just yeah, real quick, ahead. a a hoes a, a hoes business plan is dates, ten dates a day. Yeah, that's a good day. Yeah. Ten 2000? dates a day. So that means look. That means every day you're fucking ten, ten men a the day. Goal, the goal is ten. And years. guess what? These bitches will fuck on a period yep. anything because niggas is going with rubbers anyway. Right, right, right. So they're so they're they're going in the shower. Yep. They're get just wa- They're just getting their shit wet with the water, right? right. Because they be stopping the bleeding, yep. right? And then going and fucking. Yep. Oh, all day, yep. ten times a day, yep. three hundred sixty-five days a year. Money. That listen, if she did it for a year, that's three thousand. You see Easy. what I'm saying? So a, a bitch who's really selling pussy, yeah. she got a thousand, two thousand plus bodies. For sure. And the, and the world ain't that big, so that means you're liable to go anywhere in this fucking country and, and run into like some, to a motherfucker that done fucked your girl before. Atlanta. No thanks. No, and no, and, 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 and Atlanta bad. Well, I don't uh, care what nobody say. Uh, 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 of course, Atlanta bad. Atlanta. Once you get into the, it's like high school still. You see what I'm saying? Like yes. it's like <laughs> it's like this intertwined thing, and that that's like yeah. that's the risk that you run in. You see what I'm saying? When you're dealing with certain people. And it's like you know, but but to your question, if somebody say, "Oh, well, that that's an insecurity," it's 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 not about it's it's just about the fact that how many motherfuckers can say that they've had you. I mean, that's a that's a whole thing right here. I, like I I've been post in, you. I've been inside of this woman. You know right. what I'm saying? And 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 also, it's about circumstances because if your body count is high, it's a one thing if. Okay, we're in proximity with a nigga that you used to be with. Right. And of course, naturally he's had sex with you, right? Okay, that's a different situation because that was 
upstanding you were in a relationship with this person. Right, right, right. But if that body count is high, that means you just been throwing that pussy around. Right. Mm-hmm. So that means I got the girl, I've done wife the girl up who's been just handing pussy out. Right. That that doesn't reflect well. A man's reputation is important. Scripture speak about a good name. Yeah. Right. right? So things like that, facts like that, they matter. Watch right? This. <laughs> Go ahead. Watch this, right? And then when you deal with it according to, you know, statistics, it say that virgins, right, have an eighty percent chance of a successful marriage. If she was a virgin when she got married, there's an eighty percent chance of that marriage being a success. Okay. After a woman then slept with five men, just five men, that number decreases all the way down to thirty percent. Just out of five men. Wow. So from a B minus to an F. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> just out of five men. Right? And then you got it to where after three, four men, five men, the reason why it decreases is because her ability to actually pair bond and make connections with the with the man that she's dealing with. Uh-huh. Cause most of the time her psychology, she comparing you to really her first, mm-hmm. her first love and that nigga that, you know, imprinted whatever mm-hmm. it was, mm-hmm. what her standard is on mm-hmm. her, cause that's where she got her heart broke off. She really looking for that nigga in you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So if you ain't that nigga, you really not gonna get the best version of her no way. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, for instance, let's ask, what do you think the best the best year? I mean, you the woman, so we gonna so, ask, what, what, let's go go to you. What do you think? What do you think the best years of a woman's life is? Her twenties. Her twenties, like from, from what, like her mid twenties. Mid, like yeah, I would say twenty from, to twenty six. What? I would say from twenty four and up. Right. To 30. All right. Boom. So by then, we are established. She's already seen 20, 25, 30 men in her life. So what's the likelihood if we going and we trying to actually find a woman that's conducive for what we got going, going to actually get with the program, not just looking for a nigga to settle for, mm-hmm. right? She actually looking to be somebody's mm-hmm. partner mm-hmm. and build with them is we going to find a 20. Because most niggas, when you do the surveys, they looking at a woman at her best between 22 to 24. That's when they look the best, mm-hmm. right? That's when they, okay, cool, that's prime woman right there, mm-hmm. right? And you can still... Get her a little early. You can still, you know what I mean? Before, before that body count start racking exactly. up. And you can still actually, you know what I'm saying, create a family with her, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, uh-huh. Depending on how late in the game, mm-hmm. her, the likelihood of her actually being able to get pregnant and go through with a full pregnancy decreases. Mm-hmm. You facts. see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, <laughs> you got you to gotta deal with a woman that... You actually can pair bond with. She's going to really get with you, get under your program and all that, not have too many bodies, mm-hmm. and still want to have a family. Is is oriented around being a family. You see what I'm saying? Actually want to be a mother and things of that nature and, and carry all of the qualities of what we would consider a wife. Mm-hmm. I mean, the likelihood of that right now is low as a motherfucker. So, that, I mean, that's really the problem. That's what niggas is going through. And it ain't it ain't really no the the rebuttal is that's why I, I give a fuck about your body count. Because the likelihood of me finding a wife in you after five bodies is low as a motherfucker. Jesus what, Christ. What would your retort be to a woman saying, Well, the reason why I'm acting out and, and, and over sexualized mm. because men over sexualize women mm. and now I'm just responding to what you guys wanted us to do. Really is your fault. I'm, now th- this is that's a, so, that's a response you're gonna get. I'm okay, saying. okay, cool, okay, cool, right? We are able to over sexual or hyper sexualize women because y'all are looking at sexual freedom as the goal right now. Like women are, we're literally fighting for sexual freedom. Mm-hmm. There, this was the uh, with women's the, rights, movement. women's rights, and mm-hmm. it came with well, my body, my choice. And well, well, being to, able to, to to even show that a lot of when you look at some of the. Uh, the women's rights protests, like they would be like topless, topless yeah. shit yeah. like that. Like they wanted Ass to, they yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it to themselves. <laughs> they did it to themselves. They're like these white though. women. They will be asshole naked. Yeah, they, they like straight. Like this out. is the this is With the this. Writing, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is what we want. Like this, this. We want to be able to walk around naked, yeah. and now they can. Hey, look, and now they the walk nipple. around. Free the nipple. That's what the free the nipple. Yeah, free the nipple. Yeah, yeah. No, really though, that was a real thing. That was a real slogan. That's true. That's a real slogan. And so now, now that y'all getting what y'all want. And y'all not getting the resource that y'all want because mm. niggas ain't doing nothing but sleeping with y'all and saying, yeah, that's good enough. Mm. You see what I'm saying? We mm. ain't trying to take it no further. Mm. That's, that's something that y'all did. But y'all still got... So this is what they say, right? This this, this, this the uh, the phrase that they say. Mm. Women have the the gateway to actual sex. Yeah. Right? 
men have the gateway to relationships, mm -hmm. right? So women possess the ability to say yes or no to sex, mm -hmm. right? We can't ask sex without the woman saying cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but you can't get into a relationship with me unless I say <laughs> Unless cool. I want a relationship. You yeah, see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like you got to ask yourself, well, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm hypersexual, I'm not gonna get the relationship. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? I don't believe in the um, percentage thing, though. The, uh, what you, you were saying uh, virgins are eighty percent more likely to five, be successful. A girl's five. I mean, that's, um, that's, that's the 30. stats. Of course. I know. I understand. I'm saying I don't believe in that. How you can't believe in stats? Well, she's I don't believe in it. Well, what what a sample? The sample the stats data. Is, is, it's like a what? A survey? What? Like, yeah, like a what survey. Ethnicity exactly. was a sample. I don't believe in that. Obviously, but 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 I would say I mean granted so you you, you got to use the stats you got you gotta, no you got to use the stats yeah. correctly right? Right, right you get a sample size right that may or may not reflect the general mass but it, it can give you an idea right right exactly. of it, it would be better um, fewer bodies equals a, a more successful relation right. now but here now here, here here can also be a retort I've heard this argument made yeah. that hoes make the best housewives. I mean, that's argument. Because yeah. once they're done hoeing, they're like great housewives. This is this is what I hear. <laughs> and so, and this is the thing, right? When you deal with it, they gonna make... Hold on, hold on. But when, when I say hoes, I want to make this clear. I'm talking about actual prostitutes. Actual prostitutes. Not just girls who be throwing not around. Sluts. Right. Yeah, not sluts. Right. Real prostitutes. Go ahead. <laughs> right. And the whole thing is, now they... Now that they done did all that they done did, they done abused themselves. Uh, yeah, literally, with over much liberty. Literally, like literally, literally <laughs> abused. Literally abused. Is it abuse? It's abuse because they hone around. I'm saying. No, no, no. no. I'm talking about a thousand they, bodies. I'm talking about, that's abuse. Is that Man, abuse? Man, it, niggas do it too. Not, I'm, but, I'm, not, but our body's not affected by that. It's not the same. How is it not affected? Every Everybody that you sleep with, you carry them with you. You cannot say that no, you're not affected true. by that. That's true. Yeah, so, so, so tight. So, true. So, but the thing is, when you we, we dealing with, y'all got a, a real cavity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that's true. Is You're letting somebody inside of you. Yeah, that's it's a completely different than a, we. What we got, we got a fella. That, that motherfucker ain't being affected. <laughs> we might, what you would say, make a soul tie to a woman or get a disease you know, too. A we disease. get a disease. But that's the potential. But we we talking about and y'all give the disease. Nah, nah, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> we, gonna do that. <laughs> we give the disease. Y'all get the disease. How, well, how, some on, niggas on, dirty on, cause y'all don't even know that you have it that'd be a problem no, too no that, that'd yeah, be a problem yeah, yeah it, it no, takes no, longer for y'all to find out that no, y'all have it no, no because yeah, like I, you I, saying I, though, making your point is yeah. because our bodies just don't get affected by the shit that's the point so then now <laughs> a nigga will go around <laughs> fucking nigga be having fucking chlamydia the whole time nigga yeah. be like Damn, my shit burning now. What happened? Yeah. Now you trying to figure out, well, which bitch gave me chlamydia? Right. And, and since I since I caught it, who did I pass the shit to? And, shit. and and you know what's funny? Everything that you're saying, it might might be right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm just saying, who started all this stupid shit? Who? It's men. There like, you go. There you go. It's okay. men. Okay. No, it's y'all. Like, okay, how do we look start at, it? Look at the girls that look at the girls that's that's living. In, I'm only using Atlanta because that's where I'm from. Okay, Atlanta. So yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm not using it, the whole world. That's cool. that's I'm cool. just saying, like, okay, look at the girl because I'm a bottle girl. I work mm. in the, I, I work in the club. Mm -hmm. I know hella females that just fuck to get sections. Uh -huh. Like they do that. Yeah. That's yeah. a living. But they're not gonna call it prostitution. Right. And the no, dude that's is the dude. definitely prostitution though. I said they're not gonna yeah. call yeah, it. But the, yeah. the girl, the dude is still date the dude would date his his best friend's ex and call and see and feel like it's okay. And they, they just feel like they feel like if they um if a girl's serving them or whatever that they have to serve them and they have to give them something in return. Right. So it's like they're the ones throwing money out there. They're making these girls do stupid shit for for money, mm -hmm. right. and it's just like you cannot, you can't. They need, they probably need it for their rent or something. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Again. You can't go back. You, I'm saying, <laughs> look, Atlanta. Look, no, how about, how about I mean, this? The world is fucked up. The music is fucked up. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're not wrong. You're this not wrong. gay shit. Too yeah, there you up. go. Put that on the table. Right. Put that on the table. Shit, that too. Shit got the, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. the sexual marketplace. Even the up. TVs. Like you yeah. look at how um our girls are being brought up. Like the, the young females, I'm talking about babies, mm -hmm. they're already cursing. They're already right. seeing stuff they're not supposed to see. They're doing so dances. they're getting trained and you talking about and virgins. I don't even think there's any love. No, 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 listen. I know it's some left, no, listen, but... It, I don't think it's any... I don't even hey, believe in hey, virgins. Going. And most of them babies are being raised by single mamas, Man, though. And that got something to do with Single mamas it. and also gay people. And, and also gay it's people. It's even a broad word. Wow, problem. she's bringing it single up. Single mamas.
<laughs> I'm talking about men is yeah. raising yeah. raising females and men is also raising boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are you how are you letting them decide what they want to be in life? Exactly. Mm-hmm. If you're automatically putting it in their head like, you know what I'm saying, this is okay. This is cool. That's yeah. not oh, that's not okay to me. Yeah. So It can be okay. But most of the are raised by single moms. Yeah. This is the reality, bro. I this this is no, no, we know, we know. To swallow, yeah, we know that. But most, most majority sure. of the problems is coming from people coming from single parent households, and well, now, well, eighty percent okay, of now, now, single parent households now, is single mamas. Now here, here come the retort. All right. And who the fuck left the household? The men. So it's all the men fault. But most of the time, <laughs> this nigga got chased out the house. Now, 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 no, 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 no listen. Chase, now listen. Yeah. Hold on now, 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 no, no, no. But listen, we we gotta analyze, right? We can do it. The best way to analyze that is only to go off of, and somebody somebody may say that this is the wrong the wrong method to use. I don't think so in this case because I don't know if if, if there's a stat that can really tell us can measure that. You know, right. is somebody really saying, well, what happened? Well, somebody may be telling you what happened. Subjective. It's subjective, right? Right. So now, just in the situations that 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 you know, right. that I know, that we know, growing up and the right. people around us. And okay, so what was from what we know? What was the situation? Now we might not know everybody's situation. Right. You know, you might have some a friend down the street. You know, his daddy just wasn't there, or maybe his dad was there. Now he's not there. We don't know what happened. Right. I don't know what the situation was, but right. some people right. I knew what the fuck was going on. You right. know what I mean? Some people right. business was in the streets, yeah. so we knew what the deal was. Some people, daddy, that nigga went to prison for a minute. Right. Now he's back. Yeah. Oh, my dad's back. Right. Where was he at this whole time, man? Right. That nigga was in prison. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we right. never, we don't really know. Um, what I do know is a lot of young. It, it's funny because a lot of younger niggas don't want the responsibility of being a father. They the, in their country, and a lot of right. part of the problem is though right. with a lot of these niggas is too is this right here. They have a mentality of this: my mom did it on her own, right? So she can, right? And 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 that's the rationale yeah, that the yeah. nigga employ right. to just go. I'm I'm out of here. You right. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now there's a lot of young niggas too, though. Our age, how old is you right now? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. So you, our, yeah, our our age our age group <laughs> niggas who grew up without dads or no. seen enough niggas without dads to where they are super dads yeah. now. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like so there, there's there's those dynamics. But here's all I can say, right? I got two women. They both got a kid that's not mine, and neither are they baby that is an active. Supportive Right And any real level yeah. With their kids At all And yeah. What's the point I mean why You know what I'm saying and, and, That's some bullshit And, and the, But Mind you Mind you Now I, I'm not I'm not capable for them niggas Of course niggas, not Them niggas need to get on that shit Right But there are statistics that say When allow access <laughs> I'm just telling I'm just saying <laughs> That's matter no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's matter right Because we can't just Bake this shit off our, our Anecdotal subject. experience Yeah, yeah anecdotal, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying So It say that when allowed access or when active in the child's life, black so-called black males are the most active parents. I, as far as when they are in the child's life, they actually do, you know what I'm saying, a lot of activities and you know what I'm saying are, are extremely active when, when they are in the, the child's life. They're probably talking mm-hmm. about American men. Yes, yeah, yeah, so-called black Americans. Africans ain't like that. Talk about Africans. Africans ain't active. About so-called black Americans. <laughs> black Americans. Yeah, black Americans. <laughs> Boom. But... Most of the time, most of the time, <laughs> these, these these niggas that's leaving and shit like that, uh-huh. and saying well she could do it on her own, uh-huh. is because really they didn't want their baby no way. Uh-huh. They was really just wanting to knock the little chick. Mm-hmm. So they they found her attractive, but they ain't really see no wife in her no way. Yeah. But that's her saying I'm like. Agreeing. The, the thing is, women supposed to attempt to be married before they make the baby. Yeah. But instead of trying to get married before they make the baby, they not being told that, and they just. Going and, and sleeping with niggas and not really realizing that this nigga gonna leave me. You see what I'm or saying? Or she's thinking that that's the way to keep him. That's you know, exactly. They, they, they they that type, yeah. And that ain't never been the way. Mm-hmm. The best that's way is to be a wife. The, that's the, actually the, a way to chase him away. Exactly. Like, and so that's why that's why I say niggas get chased out the house. Because he feel like he in prison. Like, yeah. That's like a trap. Yeah. And then Nobody you leaving him with no option. Especially, and then, then you got to think about it. Most of these women that saying, well, you need to stay, is saying you can only be with me for the rest of your life. And I'm a young nigga. I'm 22, 23 years you know, old. You're not the only pussy I'm trying to deal with. Monogamy is monogamy a problem. Monogamy gonna kill it. <laughs> monogamy and, is and a problem. And, and, and they leech. Exactly. Well, 
Oh yeah, he left that girl. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got me. You got me fucked. You see what I'm up. saying? And at least I'm up, man, look, I'm up here. He's at least I'm being honest. honest. He's only 19. At least I'm being oh, honest. Oh yeah, with you. you forever. He's only turn 20, one, bro. And so that and that's the problem. And I think she's if, like if, 25. If these yes. chicks, if these nah, chicks, she's if, bugging. If these chicks would just accept that men gonna deal with more See, than one and, woman, but it, they and, wouldn't leave. And, and the problem is, a lot of girls. I mean, different girls got different philosophies on it. Like a lot right. of girls feel like. Okay, I'm the main one. Whatever the niggas out there doing, whatever. Right. But girls who is like hyper, you know, like I only me type. You're, you're, yeah, you're tripping. She nigga. delusional. She delusional. It's just not realistic. It's not, bro. <laughs> that's the thing. What's that? Bro. What's that? It's true. Come on, clap it up. Let's do it. <laughs> She's doing it. She's doing it again. She was doing it again. Doing? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, but uh, anything in closing? We got to wrap up. You got to start playing. Anything yeah. in closing? Uh, fuck your stats. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. See that? Hey, fuck look, them look, stats, look. nigga. I'm just playing. I promise. I don't, I don't believe that playing. bullshit, L- 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 nigga. Show me I the believe, fucking data. I believe. Data. It, I believe. It, I believe it. Yeah. It. She <laughs> believe in the thirty body. I mean, she believe in the thirty. Body. And to me, that's the most that's important tough. and striking yeah. statistic. Do you that's think men should care about body counts? Yes or no? I think everybody should care about body counts. Okay, boom. Okay, go ahead. I think everybody should care about body counts, and I also think before um doing anything with like you know. Anybody, y'all need to get checked. Get tested like, together. Right. Together. A mutual test. Same place. So. What's a high body count for a man? Mm-hmm. Y'all, do you be asking though? Somebody ain't no such thing. You can't say that. Do, do you be can't say that? No, listen. If, <laughs> you can't nigga, say that. if a nigga's on some Will Chamberlain shit, you know hey, what they said? Will had like seven thousand bodies. Look, listen, man. If Solomon can have a, a thousand yeah, the of them. The, the point is, the point. That's why I say no such thing. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not Solomon. But the point is, I have the same rights as Solomon. I follow that. Man. I have the same biology as Solomon. I read, read his writing. I'm the same. I have the same rights as him too. No, you don't. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no, but what, what is too high for a man? What is too high? What's too high for a man? Too, oh no, you said too high? Too yeah, high. what's too high? I don't think you're going to say this nigga too high. Okay, okay, I don't yeah, I don't think it's because if I, I have. I say just put a number out there. If I can have as many wives as I want, there's no such thing as too high. A nigga having 7,000 bodies, nigga, you've been doing a lot in life. First of all, if that's not your wife, that's a body count. What did you talk about? I mean, even wives count. Do you have 7,000 wives? Nah, I don't. Okay, then. So, what's your body count? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. Let's go there. What's your body count? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I, I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look I'm going to tell you. Look, I don't. I couldn't tell you. I can tell you. I, I tell don't you. count. It's, it's, I don't count. You don't count? So I don't, oh, I you don't count. Know. Like, you don't count. Like, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I haven't gone nah, through nah, it. Nah, <laughs> nah. I didn't do nah, that. I ain't going to lie. It's chicks that be writing down the list. Yeah, you know, I didn't. You know, like, really? <laughs> That's crazy. man. Who has a list. I don't know if he currently has a list anymore. <laughs> my best friend every. I mean, yeah. I know niggas that did. My big homie said when he was, because he had to do 10 years of yeah. prison, so he sat yeah. up one night and wrote, damn. and he said he had about 400. God damn. And, and mind feasible. you, he that's went feasible. to prison at like 19. That's right. That's Look at him, man. Look at that's feasible, though. I mean, you know. No, it's, it's oh, feasible. Cool. But I ain't, cool. ain't going to lie, cool. though. In, in truth, though, the niggas I know with the highest body counts, yeah. they got a lot of forgettable women on it, though. They got right. a lot of like. Right. Like foes I, and fives. They got a lot right. of four, like niggas yeah. who they really just took some shit down. Yeah, just knocked it. You know just, what I'm saying? And push. like, yep. so so that be the thing too and about niggas, be niggas, niggas with high body counts that aren't like famous. Yeah. They got a lot of trash on their body count. I'm, I'm yeah. just be real. For sure, for sure. <laughs> most, just being real, like most women is below average anyway. Like average yeah. to below average anyway. Mm-hmm. So if you knocking that many women, you more likely got to deal with some below average women. Yeah, below just, average women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most people are de- technically average or below average. All right. Yeah, that's what he's saying because, yeah. uh, or else we'll make attractive people yeah, special. Yeah, exactly. You would be average. Yeah. Be average exactly. You know? Now an attractive yeah. person is average. Yeah. yeah now, they, I mean, no, depending on where you are, what's the average is going. Only motherfucker going. that's above average is models, yeah, or or model quality looks. You gotta have model quality. <laughs> what do looks. you mean, no? What do you mean, model? <laughs> like, like supposed to be in in magazines, models. That's what, what I'm. What you mean? I'm supposed to be in magazines. I'm talking about like. Like if you were to look at a, like okay, if we look at what we would consider a a, a nine, uh-huh. a eight, a what nine I would consider or an eight or a ten. nine is on Instagram. She's not in a magazine. But, I mean, but, unless Straight Stunting is out, model, though. but she's she a Straight Stunting. But, but 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 could she end up in a magazine? Is what I'm saying. Does, yeah. does she have the looks to be like okay? Yeah, she could be in a. Magazine. And black men's uh, or uh, Straight Stunting jet. <laughs> jet. Yeah, she could be in one of them. Right. For sure. She you can't be on saying? Vogue. Though. Yeah. Okay. Then. So that, that's I that, that's I model. I don't. I don't got the Vogue. Them is model quality women. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you're okay. not dealing with model quality women, you're dealing with average or below average women. 
but boom. But okay. most most women that's not that quality is still gonna call themselves nines and tens though. Well, most these yeah. girls, most these yeah. girls who are, are models are <laughs> ugly though. What you mean, bro? Nah, bro. Most the yeah. models are <laughs> crazy as hell. Models most five percent. I'm saying it right now. Declarative statement. Hell uh, no. Models are ugly as fuck. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's stupid. what do you mean? That's, that's stupid, bro. Bro, look up most beautiful men on the earth right no, now. No, no, no. I'm, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> It's not what we're so talking about. Be models, bro. I'm not talking about. We're not talking about Giselle. Okay. It we're talking true. about even an Instagram model. Okay. Because I'm like I'm saying like how how the world what the world considers a uh -huh. beautiful woman I think right. is ugly as. Fuck. We're not talking about the world though. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. Because beauty is in the high of the beholder. Nah, forty five percent, bro. Of models. Uh, uh, well, it, nah, yeah, right? yeah, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, 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 yeah. uh huh. The they walk the right? runway. Yes. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You seen nah. them without makeup? These they're white, homes, they're, they're they're white women that are built take, like ten year old boys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the that's average model. Y'all talking about? <laughs> all of them. No, that, that's, that, what that's what I, that's what he said. Talking okay, about. Okay, the okay. bitch is built like Timmy Turner, nigga. What the fuck is so, talking about her? So yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, them not. With but, they, but if we're talking, if we're talking about an urban, we're talking a model in the urban context where right. then yeah, forty five percent of them is not. No, it's zero. It's zero. Then they all bad. Nah, some of them is ugly though. Some of some of them really got to put their face on. How do you feel about the plus size models? I for I be, first of all, let me explain something to you. One of my childhood crushes is a woman by the name of Takara. Do you know who Takara is? Sorry, Motherfucking one of the, the the first plus size participant on America's Next Top Model, my nigga. I love Takara. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a body. See here. It, here's see, the th here's the thing about here, here's. Here's the no thing about yeah. Lizzo. Lizzo's fat, bro. You can just not disrespect. She's fat, but she's I'm saying fat. I'm not trying to say it like no, but, no, but, rudely. No, but here, here's the no, no. Here, here's the here's the problem, though. Oh my god! Be, because <laughs> what? No, no. Listen, listen. First, first off, first off, to car that you said plus, plus size. size. You she's didn't say fat. Size. But I, you're right. She's you're right. You're right. right. Let's put an asterisk. I'm mean, gonna say I'm talking about wait. What's the difference? Plus plus super size model. Super. No, it's called it's called plus it's called plus extended number one. That's the that's the actual term. Actual term, no, Shalom, no. whatever. That's oh, the actual term. And um 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 I, I was gonna say. We gotta close out though. We gotta start. Ask his opinion on this matter, bro. Okay, uh uh what I was gonna say, um <laughs> with, with, with plus size with, with plus size women, <laughs> with with any woman, yes, from anorexic nigga to plus size, yeah. it's all about how it all looks. Right. How it's put together. How it's put together. It's put together. She could be plus size, but yeah. it's put together right. I agree. Then it is what it is. Yeah. I agree. Right? If 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 everything is just yeah. looks in place and the right. packaging looks well, right. boom. If it don't, then it don't. Yeah. That's my stance. So I'm not I mean, I do kind of body shame skinny one. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I do too. I body shame skinny. Hey, you too skinny. I mean what super skin is a problem, super fat is a problem. <sighs> what bro? can I do? But 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 like you said, and and that's just exactly what Ye said about the thing with Lizzo is like it, the the celebration has gone too far as right. to when like from celebrating to like now it's just like enabling right an unhealthy lifestyle. Yeah. And that's a different that's a different thing. And that's the whole thing with the accountability that we were talking about in the beginning. We motherfuckers is literally in a, in a in a culture right now where telling somebody that they fat is called body shaming mm -hmm. when really it's just holding them accountable for being obese and, and, and not uh, wanting and not wanting to date a woman that's is it, called right. fat phobic right right, right. It, it, instead of just having standards. You see what fat I'm saying? Phobic, fat phobia. Fat phobia. Jesus Christ. Well, I know we got to wrap soon. I'll just, you know, there's a there's a gang <laughs> in the Portland area. <laughs> What's it called? What's fat it? bitch killer. I'm dead serious, bro. I'm, no, I'm not making this joke. It's where? No, fat in Portland, Oregon. Oregon. He's not lying. They're, they're literally. It's called fat it's, bitch it's, killer. F, yes. F, Them fat niggas. Fat bitch oh killer. They only have such a fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's their own. Oh, oh, they, oh, they no, they kill him. Oh, yeah. 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 No, but I'm saying like, this isn't, this isn't like a crip or a blood is a they're a fucking gang, bro. Like they will sell you some work and then go fuck a fat bitch, bro. Like that's their thing. Uh, you know what I mean? That's it. That's all we got to say. I'm crying. <laughs>